Now let's talk about deleting and restoring files from our OneDrive. If I did choose to sync my files, and I open those up inside of File Explorer, and I delete Annual Financial Report here from File Explorer, it warns me when I do it through this method that the file that I delete is going to be available for 93 days from my OneDrive Recycle Bin, but it does not delete to your computer's Recycle Bin, so keep that in mind. Even though you're syncing files locally, they're still cloud-based, so it's going to go to the Cloud Recycle Bin. So I'll say got it to that pop-up, and maybe I'll delete one more, maybe this business card. And I say, yep, it's going to go off of my PC permanently. And I say yes, because I understand that the cloud is where it's actually going to be deleted. So I'm going to close out of that now and notice that annual report's missing and that business card just disappeared there. So now where did they go? Maybe I made a mistake, right? So let's look at our recycle bin. And if at first you don't see the files you're looking for, just hit refresh, especially when you're working this quickly. Sometimes you won't see immediate changes. So here's that report and here's business card. And if I made mistakes, I simply select the files that I want to restore and click Restore. That puts them back in the original location. If I want to verify, I can go back to my files. There's that annual report, and there's the business card file. If I want to check my synced files using File Explorer, there's the annual report, and there's the business card. So it doesn't matter if you delete files from File Explorer or from the cloud, but they'll both go to the cloud recycle bin. Now in your recycle bin again, that retention period is 93 days. If you don't empty your recycle bin for 93 days, all of this stuff is going to be gone, right? And it starts from the day each file is deleted. So if I deleted this file 92 days ago, after tomorrow it's gone for good. Okay, or maybe this one was just 40 days ago, it's got some time left. But if I choose empty recycle bin, and I say yes to the prompt, it's actually going to go to a second stage recycle bin, so you do have two. So if I look at my second stage recycle bin, which I can see a link to down here, this is my last chance to restore these files if I want to keep them. So let's say, you know, I do. If I select a couple files and I hit restore, they actually go back to the original location. They're not going to go back to the first stage. So if I do delete them again at some point, the 93 days starts over. But after I emptied the first recycle bin, their retention period just continued. So if it lived 40 days in the first recycle bin, it's going to finish out 53 days in this second stage recycle bin before it's gone for good. So the second stage here is really just your fail safe. If you made a mistake and emptied the first recycle bin but didn't realize there was something important in there that was just kind of bunched up with everything else, you get this last chance. But from here, if you do choose to empty the second stage recycle bin, everything here is gone for good. So it's very hard to get back after that point. You'd have to put in a ticket with Microsoft and cross your fingers. <laughs> so uh, with this stuff, uh, I will go ahead and leave it all in here because I don't really need to restore anything. If I did want to delete everything, I could just select all and delete. If I wanted to restore everything, select all and restore. Now let's talk about how folders and versions work. If I delete an entire folder, let's say annual reports, and I hit delete, notice it has two items in it. I say yes, I'm sure, and I go check out my recycle bin. I might have to hit refresh again. There we go. And I can restore the whole folder or delete it. It's treated just like another uh, file. However, I can't click into it. I can't see what's in there. So the, the only way to be able to look inside is to first restore it, look inside, and then decide if you want to delete the whole thing again. So there's just one kind of setback there with folders. And then versions, let's say you have a file with a bunch of versions in it, and we've talked about this already in the past version history, uh, and let's say you found a version that you need to delete because maybe it has sensitive information in it. So I'm going to choose that version, choose delete version, and just remember that was version 6, so now I have 5 and 7 there. I go check my recycle bin, hit refresh again, and now I've got annual financial report draft, and I just know that it's the 6th because, well, I just deleted it. <laughs> But if I wanted to confirm, you can when you have a long title like this and you can't quite see the rest of it, just select it and choose delete again, and then you'll see the whole file name. So in this case, we're seeing that annual financial report draft dot docx, and then in parentheses, the version number. So I can see, oh, that's not the whole annual financial report, which would include all versions. I can tell it's just version six of that. Okay. So if I wanted to delete again, I could, or if I wanted to restore, just like any other file, select it and restore. 
Now, uh, with versioning in mind, if you do delete a file, all the versions go with it. So if it had 20 versions, those are all deleted in one file. When you restore it, it retains all that version history. So you don't have to worry about losing that if you do happen to delete and choose to restore.